channel. My name is Juliette and I just went to uh, Whole Foods this morning and I figured I might as well just uh, do a quick haul and uh, show you what I got. I got some oat flour but unfortunately I put it in my uh, bin so that's why the package is empty but this is, I love this stuff. So here's what I got basically minus the bird over there. <laughs> So the first thing I got was some uh, vanilla flavored almond milk. I got some vanilla flavored almond milk and I love the vanilla flavored almond milk for when I make waffles and uh, things like that. And I have a fantastic waffle recipe which actually comes out a billion times better than the waffles you buy in any restaurant. 100% I guarantee it. If you try my waffles you won't even believe that it's vegan. It's really really good. <laughs> and this is my favorite, the uh, Silk Original Cashew Milk. It's so good. And best of all, it's uh, cholesterol free because it's plant-based. It doesn't contain those harmful animal saturated fats because there's a huge difference between uh, plant-based saturated fats and animal-based saturated fats. One is good for you, the other one is not good for you. And there's no pus in it because it didn't, didn't come from a, a cow, over-milked cow. And then I got some uh, strawberries, big bin of strawberries. Blueberries. I'm obsessed with corn. Corn, tons of corn. I'm a, it's, it's definitely uh, one of my favorite grains. Local farmer who supplied the corn I claim it's non-GMO, so hopefully uh, that's the case. And then I got some uh, bananas, and these uh, nectarines are super delicious. They have tons of flavor, unlike the nectarines that I usually find in a grocery store. And I got some uh, celery. And I haven't tried this yet. It's a uh, plant-based dark chocolate pistachio praline bar. I don't know if I'll pronounce that correctly or not, but I'm gonna try this out and do a little taste test. This is gonna be a very quick tour of what's inside my fridge. And of course, I don't always have this in my fridge. This is just what happens to be in my fridge today. And what I have in my fridge is, you know, of course, always changing, but I'm gonna show you what I have in my fridge today. And actually, I'm kind of running low on food. This is, I have a cashew milk. This is the original. Silk cashew milk. This, this is delicious. And if you've never tried plant-based milk before, I think that you should totally try this one as your first plant-based milk. Because this is, like, this is super delicious. And it's actually very, very similar to dairy. Uh, at least in my opinion, it is. <laughs> so, and actually, this is macadamia milk. Actually, this is the first time I've ever tried it. And Whole Foods gave me because of a sample today and this is actually pretty good macadamia nut milk and this is just coconut water and this is uh, by the ginger people sweet and spicy dip actually it's very similar to uh, like a sweet and sour dip it's super delicious I absolutely love this and this is just mustard barbecue sauce apple cider vinegar strawberry jam and oh my gosh this is my favorite completely addicted to this. This this brand, the uh, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but the Artisana uh, cashew butter. This is so so good. I, I put it in my my oatmeal cookies, I put it in my oatmeal, my waffles, I put it in everything. This is this is super super delicious. And this is just some tahini and this is hemp seeds, chia seeds, and flax seeds. This whole area right here is my omega-3 <laughs> section. And here I have, oh, I didn't realize I have two of them. Uh, uh, more cashew butter, as you can see. I'm kind of a, a cashew butter addict. And this is just probiotics. And I think uh, this is a mango coconut flavor. And this is just another, oh, this is the, com kombucha. <laughs> I pretty much just drink this for the probiotic benefits and this is uh, lemon juice, salsa, strawberry jam and oh I love this stuff. This is the Engine 2 Diets vegetable broth. If you've never seen the documentary called Engine 2 Diets, I highly recommend it. You can check it out on Netflix. I'll leave a link down below and he's actually Dr. Cottle Esselstyn's son and his son's name is Kip Elselstein, and he's fantastic. You know, Dr. Carl Wesselstein, I'll post a link for him down below. He's, he's fantastic. He's been reversing the severest cases of coronary artery disease for the past 40 years through a low-fat, whole food, plant-based diet. And they're talking about 
patients who are knocking on death's door and he's been reversing their heart diseases without no drugs for a little of the past 40 years to a low fat whole foods plant based diet. And actually, my aunt went on, oh no, my fridge is probably going to out of it. I should have talked about this later. And my aunt actually had very severe heart disease. She had a heart attack. She, she, was, she almost died and she went on a low fat whole foods plant based diet and she reversed her heart disease. She no longer has high blood pressure. Her cholesterol went way down and she's basically cured. And this is a maple syrup, strawberry flavored syrup. I love this stuff. I got this at Costco. It's the vanilla extract. And this is just sweet chili sauce and of course sriracha. Because you know, sriracha is life. <laughs> I don't, I don't even like spicy foods at all. Like I can't handle spicy foods, but just the tiniest bit of this, it really gives good flavor to whatever it is you're eating. And this is something for my birds. This, this is the probiotics for my birds. They take probiotics. This is for my birds. And this is just ketchup. And this is just some more probiotics. And up here, I just have a whole thing of kale. And of course, usually I have this covered, but just to show you guys what's in it. I left it uncovered, and this is just some leftover breakfast. I love these corn tortillas. I make my own tortillas with salsa and avocado. It's super delicious. And this is just strawberries. And I love this. I, I'm I'm completely in love with beets. And this is a sweet chili flavor. I got this at Whole Foods. And these are just uh, strawberries. I mean cherries, grapes, and I'm making chili today again. This is just some diced onions, ginger, whatever's left of it in there. And this is some broccoli. I usually have a lot more veggies down here, but I need to stock up some more. This is my potato drawer. That's the only thing that's ever in here are potatoes. And this is my fruit drawer. So all my fruit goes in here. So that's pretty much my <laughs> little fridge tour. My freezer is a little bit more stocked up. So I make a lot of smoothies. So I have strawberries. These are mixed blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, more blueberries, strawberries, uh, mangoes, pineapple, more blueberries, more mangoes, celery. And this is just some corn more blueberries and this is where I keep all my grains for my smoothies and of course that's some ice. This is my fruit basket. Of course it's looking very very sad. <laughs> normally I have more fruit in it but I normally don't put my fruit into the fridge until it's uh, fully ripe and the only reason I put it in the fridge is to prevent it from uh, going bad. So anyways I that was my short fridge tour. I hope this inspired you a little bit to uh, stock up on healthier Foods. And of course, I'm sorry, my fridge was kind of a little sparse and I'll have to redo another fridge tour when my fridge has more uh, more stuff in it. And if you are living, I know this is kind of hard because sometimes you might be sharing a house with like five or six different people. So sometimes it helps if you just kind of take your own section of the fridge or a cabinet and make it your own. And that way you can keep all your healthy things in your own little area. And then the rest of the people you're living with can keep their stuff in another area. I know when I used to live with someone, I had to do that, and that, that was kind of helpful because that way I knew, you know, that's my designated area which, where I keep all my healthy stuff and I kind of just blindfolded myself to all the junk foods and all other stuff that they were eating. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this short video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. A long, long time ago This is the time of the apocalypse The dream of the last thing